For the one you love I did it all for love It is my heart you have I want to stay with you Today and tomorrow No matter the circumstance Even if morning or day I want to be with you forever I'm a criminal for love I want to steal your heart Cause you mean everything to me I can't let go I can't get my eyes off of you I can't get my mind of you I don't know what you did to me That I'm helplessly in love I did it all for love It is my heart you have I want to stay with you Today and tomorrow No matter the circumstance Even if morning or day I want to be with you forever I did it all for love It is my heart you have I want to stay with you Today and tomorrow No matter the circumstance Even if morning or day I want to be with you forever. I want you to stay with me. Stay. Oh. stay with me. Stay. Stay with me. Stay with you. Yeah, yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah. stay forever. I want you to stay forever with me. Stay. Stay oh. with me. Yeah, mom. Mom, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Okay, mom. Look, listen, can we talk about this another time? I will call you back. I'm in the office. I'm working. I'm a little busy. Okay, mom. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hey, babes. We are back. You look so tired. How was your day? No. <laughs> Hectic as usual. My job is stressing me. And the lady that gives me joined that office is my boss. Hmm. Tell me more. He's so cute. And I like him. You must really hold the strong shake on you for him to get your heart. See? You can say that again, like God. I'm so frazzled. <laughs> anyway, freshen up. I made dinner. You made dinner? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm right. really hungry. Okay.
Hey, Mom. Mom, I'm fine. Mom, okay, listen, I will bring her for a proper introduction. I told you before. I've been quite busy, a lot of work at the office, Mom. Mom, I will bring her, okay? Mom, I'm, I'm getting late for work. Can I call you back and we'll talk about this later? Please. Okay, Mom, bye, bye, bye. I'm getting late, bye, bye. Just give me a break. So sad, this was what I meant um, when I talked about the lining the other time. Okay. Um, this is fine. This too is okay. Um, Alright, this one's perfect. I, uh, I actually hope the, 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 the meeting will be under one hour as they stated. I don't want to spend any more time in that meeting than I should. I just want to be right under one hour. Um, uh, Are you listening to me? You don't lost. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had other things in mind. All right. I was asking if the meeting will last one hour or less, as they stated here. Oh, certainly not. Um, the, meeting, the meeting kicks off at um, 1.30 p.m. To 2 30 pm with Mr. George. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I will sign. Okay. And then you can um, wait for the sign. Yeah, yeah, All that's right. fine. Okay, so. Um, uh, okay, alright, I'll just. Uh, I'll start it. You're not taking my calls. Why? I've been busy. What do you want? Why are you here? Bro, you can't keep making a mountain out of a more here. How can we be in the same city and we don't get to see each other? Can you just get a life and stop dawdling around? Get busy, man. Well, it's mom. She said you're not taking her calls. Yeah, because she wants me to take Sophia home. So, bring her home then. What's keeping you? Can you just leave? I have to go for lunch. I'm already getting late. Can you just go? I am hungry too now. We can have lunch together. Can you just go? Please, you're stressing me. Stop stressing me. Just... What's wrong with you? Just go. Okay, I, I will go, but you need to come home. You both need to have a proper conversation. Can't keep avoiding our calls. Don't do this. Want me to take Sophie out? The woman I'm going to show her the marriage. Do you know what it's going to mean to her if I take her home to my family? Let me walk up there and ask you to bring me lunch on the way back to the office. Yeah, come here.
Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. I'm so sorry, sir, for coming in late to work. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I woke you up early. It's normal that you will be tired and sluggish. There was heavy traffic on my way here. It's okay. It's fine. The fire, what is it? Um, the, the fire, I... Sir, I... I, I woke up and saw on my call log that um, I had an incoming call with you which lasted five minutes at 2 a.m. What? So you don't know that I called you? Uh, no, no, sir, but I answered and I slept off. Oh, my goodness. So you didn't work on the file that I sent you? I'm so sorry, sir. I, I didn't. I, I couldn't get any information. I'm so sorry, it's sir. Just I, a new idea. That something I thought about and I called you so that you could work on it. I, I sent it to your email. So you don't remember that I even told you I sent it to your email? I sent it to your email. No, sir. I, I, I picked the call and I slept off, sir. It was a new idea. Something I thought about. Something that would help us with the meeting with Mr. George. I'm so sorry. I, I, I slept off and I couldn't gather any information. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. So, you know so. what? Just, just, just get to work, okay? We have about two hours, so you just get to work and let's. Let's see what you can come up with, okay? Okay, okay, okay sir. I'll, I'll get to it immediately, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? I should have done it myself. I don't think she can even get that done in four hours. Talk less two hours. Damn it. What are we even going to do? Hello, babe. I need some money for my skincare products. About 1.5 million. I... Babe, what do you mean I have to get there first before you send the money? So I'll just go there and start standing and be waiting for your transfer. Can you just do it now? Please? Hello, babe. Mike? Babe, Mike? Babe. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir, but I'm almost done, okay? And I don't mind walking on it on our way to the restaurant, sir. What restaurant? Um, having Gates Suit and Hotel. Can we get there in 15 minutes? It's, it's about 30 minutes away from here, sir. Oh my God. And I, I don't mind calling Mr. George and explain why we'll be coming in late. Don't, don't. I will talk to him myself. I don't want him to see us as incompetent, right? I'm so sorry, sir. It's fine, it's fine. Just, uh, just get whatever we need for the meeting and uh, meet me in the car, okay? Okay, okay, sir.
I'm so sorry, sir. sir. I... What did you say? I forgot the file at the office, sir. Jesus Christ, you did what? Forgot the file? I'm, I'm so sorry. Camilla, what's wrong with you? Why are you so incompetent? Why are you so disorganized? I'm so, so sorry, sir. The... So, you, we're going to go back to the office. I'm sorry. What is, what is wrong with you? Seriously? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. It's 1.27. It's 1.27. Just right close to our meeting time. Just know that if I lose this deal with Mr. George, you are kissing your job goodbye. I'm sorry, sir. And just stop saying sorry. Yes, sir. Just stop it. It's not helping at all. Sorry, sir. Doctor, how is my brother? He's fine. The accident was quite fatal. Thank God for the good Samaritans that called the hospital. I, I wonder what would have happened if the call didn't come early enough. Um, but we were able to revive them. Them? Not just him? Yeah, two of them. Your brother was driving with a lady in his car. Oh. Where is she? Um, she's currently receiving treatment in our world. She's still unconscious like your brother, but not to worry, she'll be fine. They'll both be fine. Okay. Well, can I see her now? Um, not now. The nurses are currently cleaning her up. She's on cloud. I'll let you know once it's fine to go in and see her. Yeah? Okay, okay. Thank you, Doctor. At least for commencing treatment first. You're welcome. Life always comes first. Um, we got your number on this emergency contact list. That was how we were able to call you. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. Um, I have other patients to attend to. I'll be in my office if you need anything. Okay. okay. And please don't forget, get to the accountant's office and make the necessary payments. Okay? I will. Uh, Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Please calm down, calm down for what? Calm down for what? My first online time, you're telling me to calm down. I should be the one lying down here. Why should my son be the one lying down here? Why should this happen to me? Mama, it's a bad Don't raise your voice, please. Why should this happen to me? Oh, Jehovah. My God, oh. Doctor, <laughs> madam, you really need to calm down. We have other patients here. Please calm down. She's my mother. I, I will calm her down. Please do. Hey, doctor, look at his hands shaking. My son is alive. Madam, you need to calm down. He's alive. You need, you need, to, you need to calm. My... Calm down, madam. I told you it was going to be fine. Um, right now, both of you will need to excuse me. I need to run and check on him. Ah, no, okay. Doctor, please let me stay here with you. Madam, I understand how you feel, but I need to do my work without any form of disturbance. I will not disturb you. I will not disturb you. See, Pim, I will not make. I will not make any sound. Mom, mom, mom. Please, let me do Guys, outside, please. Let me do Yeah, yeah. Uh, doctor, 
please, how is my son doing? Um, unfortunately, we have good and bad news. Which one is good and bad news? Um, Which one is the bad news? Um, the son lost his legs. And we noticed that before the accident, his brain was frazzled. And this simply means that he was tensed before the accident. And the tension led to what we call an anterograde amnesia. I, I, I still don't understand what you are saying. What are you saying? Um, an anterograde amnesia or a post-traumatic amnesia is a state of confusion or memory loss resulting from a traumatic event, like an auto crash, which is the case with your son. Okay, this one is the bad news. What is the good news? Well, the good news is with the help of a physiotherapist, he could work again. Moreover, his amnesia is temporal. You just need to give him time. He'll be fine. It's nothing to worry about. He'll be discharged in three days. Okay, doctor. Yes. Mama. Have you seen this? Mama, he says, Hey! Why is this Why is this My daughter, how are you? No, no, it's okay, relax. Take it easy, take it easy, yeah. So sorry. Sorry, my dear. How are you feeling? Please. Who are you? Oh, I'm Grace, Mike's mom. Mike. Yeah. Mike is it's fine. It's fine. You don't look happy. Is there a problem? Hmm? Um how is Mike? Um, my dear, you need to calm down. Okay? I don't know how you're going to take this. But Mike is not fine. He lost his legs. And right now he's battling with memory loss. He can't even remember anything. Not even I, his mother. Oh my goodness. He's going to be fine. All right? You'll be fine too. Okay? My name is David. Mike's younger brother. Yes, my son. You must be Sophie, his fiancée. Right? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes I am, I am Sophie. I'm here. We're going away too much before the accident. Oh, well, I'm really sorry. It's good to meet you in person. It's actually sad that we have to meet this way. Okay? We'll be fine. It's nice to meet you too. Derek, right? Yeah. It's, it's nice to meet you now. It's nice to meet you, my daughter. You're fine. You're going to be fine. Babe, you shouldn't have lied to them. 
V, you know I wouldn't do that on a normal day. Okay, her hopes were high. And it seemed like she's been talking to Mike about bringing the woman home. So I didn't want to disappoint her. But no, you're lying to them. Don't you think that when she finds out you lied, it will hurt her the more? At least we won't get to that bridge and cross it. Eh? For now, I just want to make her feel better until Mike gets back on his feet. I just hope this doesn't boomerang on you. It won't. So, okay, how are you feeling now? I'm fine. I'm okay. Except for the fact that I really feel bad. Okay? I wish I had walked on the fire when he sent it. Come on, babe. Stop beating yourself about this. Accidents happen on a daily basis. He will be fine. Are you sure? Yes. I hope so. Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. The doctor so say you'll be discharged later this evening. Okay, that's good. What about Mike? He'll be discharged tomorrow evening. That's good. So I'll go see him before we leave tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Cheer up. Oh, you did come with flowers. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> When we get home, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry, babes. Thank you. Mike's mom called. She asked to know if I had someone taking care of me, and I told her yes. She also asked about my mom, and I told her my mom was late. Okay, so? Apparently, she wants me to come over to Mike's place so she can take care of me like a mother. So, what was your response? Nothing. I, I didn't give her anything. I just told her I was going to call her back. What are you going to do about it? Honestly, I don't know. I hope this is going to work as you plan because I'm just worried. I honestly want to be there. I won't even lie. Okay, at least this will help me build um, a relationship with the family, most importantly him. Babes, <laughs> I wouldn't want you to get hot again. I just want you to be happy. I know, I know. Come on now. You know it's been so long I fell in love ever since that. <laughs> Let's not even talk about him. But Mike is the only man my heart beats for at the moment. And trust me, I'm going to be okay. I'll be fine. Anyway, I trust you. You're an adult. And I believe you can handle things. <laughs> so, um, I think I should call her and tell her that I'll come in in the morning, tomorrow morning. Okay. Make sense? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Thank God I know his house. It would have been really messed up. Imagine not knowing your fiance's house. <laughs> That's on that thing, imagine. Wow. Oh. Okay. I'm excited. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you. I got Let's you. See how this works. I got you. I feel like I'm having butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> even, when, even when you're not there yet. I know. Okay. I miss this video. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Who is there? Come in, come in. The door is not locked. Come in. Ah, Sophia. How are Good you, my daughter? Good afternoon. Fine, Good afternoon. Fine, Welcome. Mommy. Thank you, mommy. Sit, <laughs> sit, sit. So, how are you feeling now? I'm, I'm getting better now. Oh, God. Hi, Mike. <sighs> I am. 
I'm so sorry things are like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. I need you to know that I will be here. No matter how long it takes. Who are you? I know you don't remember anything, but I need you to know that I am the love of your life. That is all that matters. Okay? I'm here for you. It's all right, my daughter. It's okay. He will soon be fine. Okay? He will be fine. All right. Go to the room. Make yourself comfortable. And I have some food in the kitchen, so feel free. Okay? Yes, um, I, 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 I will just get my bag. Um, um, yes, I'll, I'll be back, ma'am. I really got the chance to tell you how much I love you. I love how hardworking you are and how selfless you are. Even if it's going to take forever, I'll wait for you. my memory but I I'm sure I didn't lose my emotions I have been struggling to understand why I don't feel so connected to you emotionally I don't know why so I just want to say please if you will give me a little bit more time I'm sure I'm going to love you again. My love for you is enough to sustain us. Okay? So even if it's going to take eternity for you to remember me, I will wait. Thank you for loving me. I love you. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna go downstairs and make us breakfast. And I'll be back to keep you company, okay? Okay. I'll be back soon.
No, 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 no. Ah, ah, my daughter, you shouldn't be doing this now. Ah, ah, you should be resting, not cooking. See, I asked you to come here so that I can take proper care of you, not the other way around. Mama, it's okay now. <laughs> it's fine, I will do it. It's just a boy rice, it's not hard. And you made it yesterday, that was stressful, so... I thought it wise to make us breakfast. I am not stressed. I am fine. I'm not complaining. Eh? I went to my son's room now. I saw him shining. And he told me that you helped him with his bath. That's a wonderful job. And you are here again cooking. You shouldn't now. Mommy, it's okay. It's fine. And moreover, if I don't do these things, I'm going to fall ill. And I don't want that. I like this. <laughs> this is how a good wife to be supposed to behave. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I insist I will help you. Or better still, let me keep you company. You don't want to give up, Mama. <laughs> it's okay. Do you know when I was your age? Mm. I was just like you. <laughs> what can you do? For love, you can keep law or break the law. You can fail the whole world, but one you love, you can start a fight. You can end a fight. You can push the ocean for the one you love. I did it all for love. It is my heart you have I want to stay with you Today and tomorrow Red no seems to be away He walks in ways We can listen My daughter Mama Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Mama, I'm okay. Hmm? No, I'll be fine, I no, promise. No, I, I, I'm not talking about the child's hair or anywhere in the house. Oh. I'm talking about Mike, my son. Listen, if you want to walk away, I will understand. And I will hold no grudge against you. <sighs> Mama. I love your son so much. He wouldn't walk away if I were to be in his shoes. So yes, I am ready to stay by him. And with him, even if it's going to take forever, I'll wait. Thank you. You're welcome, mommy. It's a good one. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're a good child. I just wonder why my son refused to bring you home all this while. <laughs> Mama, walk. He's been so busy with work. <laughs> See what love is doing. You were even defending him already. No. <laughs> Mama, it's not like that. Okay, I. Moreover, we've been planning to come see you already. Okay. Well. All right. <laughs> Just go upstairs. Mm? I'll finish up very soon. Just go upstairs and relax. Okay? Alright, my darling. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, mommy. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Shouting my name like that. 
And who is she? I don't know. According to her, she said she's Mike's fiance. What? Right. My name is Sophia. I am Mike's fiance. And you are his mother. Well, I am your future daughter in law. Can someone just explain to me what is going on here? I don't even understand. You don't need to go like I said earlier, I am Mike's fiance. Baby! Well, this is Sophia. What the hell? My brother's fiance. What the hell? Is this a joke or what? I am Sophia and what the hell is going on? Can somebody please go call him and tell him that the love of his life is here? Mike cannot recognize you. Go bring him. He's sleeping. There's no need for that because I know my way around this house. Hold on, what's, what's, what's going on here? Who is she? <sighs> Again, for the third time, my name is Sophia and I am Mike's fiance. You know, this won't go on forever. I am going to do everything, I mean everything to make sure that the truth unravels. You know, Mike is really a great guy. It's just so unfortunate. And I don't know what he's doing with such an indespicable woman like you. Hmm. You do not know what I am capable of. Really. So you have to be very guided to hold him with me. Be careful. Be not. Okay. Uh, Um, hello, is this uh, Mr. Mike's apartment? Yes, please. Come in. Okay. Okay. Hello. Um, my name is Dr. Eva. I'm a doctor friend of mine, Dr. Fred. Okay. I'm here to help Mr. Mike get better by rendering some therapy. I am a physiotherapist. Dr. Fred has already told me everything that happened to Mr. Mike. So I hope you guys will allow me to do my job. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, he already told us about your coming. We're expecting you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. We're happy to have you here. So, um, okay. Um, please, can I have a look with my patient, please? Oh, of course. Um, I'll show you to this room. Okay. Come with me. Really, babes, what's going on? What is really happening? At first, I thought it was a joke. What happened? What's your plan? Honestly, I don't know. I, I thought I could convince the mom to send her out of the house. And then I heard her and Derek saying they want myself and Sophia to stay in order to help Mike regain his memory. Can you imagine? So, what is your plan? I don't know, V. I actually thought I was going to come back home this weekend, but with the way things are, I might have to stay longer than I thought. <laughs> Why do you want to jeopardize another woman's life? Or because of your own happiness? V, what am I doing? I'm not holding this man now. At least someone left me for somebody else too. Moreover, Sophie doesn't even deserve Mike here one bit. 
Oh, if I had Mike complaining on how lavishly she spends and how she throws herself at guys. Girl! <laughs> like, how is he your burden to carry? It's not your cross, it's their business. You shouldn't get involved in it. Loving someone is like embarking on the journey of no return. I love this guy. Come on, babe. I know you do. I just hope, I just wish this is going to work in your own favor. Letting go of him? It's like letting go of the most valuable and most precious thing I have in my life. I, I'm in love with this guy. I'm in love with him. Don't you get it? I know, you've been saying it, you love him, okay, oh, fine, fine, fine. So, what if he regains his memory? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Can't be strong. Side. <laughs> so refreshing. I mean, it's what we usually do. <laughs> it's your favorite thing to do, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Especially when mom is complaining about you not bringing the woman home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. So I loved going outside. And I said it's your favorite thing, trust me. Derek. What I'm going to ask you about, I... I wanted to stay between you and I. Look. Before the accident, what was that like? The fact is, you were hard working. Like, you don't joke with your work. You're not much of an outgoing person and you like spending your silent time meditating. Bro, I have a lot to say about you, but first, you have to get well first. Was mom ever Pestering me to bring a woman home. Of course, yes. She was countless times, but you refused. I don't know why, but you refused. <sighs> I need to sleep. Okay. Thank you, Derek. All right, I'll, I'll leave you there. All right. Yeah. Um, great. Can you? Help me to get down a little bit. Okay, okay. It's for me.
Can I join you? Can I say no? <laughs> of course. Um, I, I want to ask you a few things about my brother. Okay. You know, I, I am doing this actually to ascertain who is impersonating among you two. <laughs> I totally understand. How long have you been with my brother? Long enough to be engaged to him. Okay. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I am an interior decorator. Okay. That's good. So, mm -hmm. what happened before the accident? Um, I, I was with him the night before the accident. Then the next day at about 11 a.m., he asked me to please go get something for him at the mall. Which I did. Getting back, <sighs> he had set everything beautifully. And there he was, kneeling on one knee, asking me to marry him. Of course, I said yes because I was ready to spend the rest of my life with him. Okay. So we got really excited and he was so happy. We decided to go have lunch and celebrate our engagement. Sadly, he, he wasn't concentrating because he was so happy. And then he ran into a truck. That was it. And you don't have any picture of you put together? Of course. There were. But unfortunately we I lost it in the in the car scene um, on my old phone. So my friend got me this new phone after, immediately after the accident. Okay. Um, so, what about social media? Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, Twitter? <sighs> none of your pictures? Yes, um, of course, um, of course. But you see, um, we never had our pictures on any of those platforms because. Mike wanted us to take our relationship off social media. And you are going to do it? Why not? I wasn't interested either. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll leave you now to go get some sleep. Good night. Good night. And. <laughs> uh, do have a pleasant night rest. Sure. <laughs> the fast thing you can do today. Yeah, sure, I will. I just want to rest a bit.
babe. <laughs> I was so scared. Like, you need to see the way he was asking me a lot of questions. And what was going through my mind was, what if he asks me something that I have no idea of? What's funny? <laughs> I, understand, I understand that feeling. I'm serious now. It's not funny. Stop laughing. Yes, yes. I know it's not funny. Okay, what if he has a picture of him with Sophia on his social media? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I went through his Instagram page and Twitter, so I didn't see anything of such. I just detected that it's not his thing. Lucky me. You need to be very diplomatic with your resume because I don't understand this question and answer. Um, Session face. See, Omo, I just hope he doesn't come up with any further question because what do I know about Mike? At least we can avoid this face for now. How now? How? Come, let me tell you what you're doing again. Come. Are <laughs> you serious? You're not a serious person at all. I don't understand. For you? Who's there? Hold on, I'm coming. Oh, doctor. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. Please come in. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, uh, you have to take me to him. Oh, okay, all right, he's upstairs. Okay. All right, careful. <laughs> you. Derek, what do you think about the girls? Um. I, I was going to bring up this conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't really know, but I think both are playing their games well. Except for the second girl who lacks manners. Ever since she came into this house, all she does is eat, sleep, watch television, and be on her phone all day. I think she's a fake one because my son, my own son, can never be with such a lady. Why? Because she can do home chores. Mom, that she can do home chores doesn't mean my brother can be with her. This your logic may not work in this one. I prefer the first girl. She is well mannered, well cultured, and very respectful. Unlike that other second girl who lacks all these qualities. That's your preference. I just wish my brother gets well soon and save us all the stress. You see, eh, at this point, it's not about who he was with. It is about whom I want <laughs> as my daughter-in-law. Ah, mama, mama, biakwa, biakwa. At the end. He will choose for himself. You can choose for him. So his decision matters. Well, I know. What am I supposed to do with a guy that has lost his memory and is on a wheelchair? Well, I came back home to ask him for the 1.5 millionaire, at least to fight with him so he can give me the money. Only for, for me to see something else. He had an accident, he's confined to a wheelchair, and he has lost his memory. See, for now, I think the best thing to do is to just switch over to his brother. Because that one is fully loaded. I can get more money from him than send to you. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's what I have to do. After all, I'm not in love with him. I'm just in here for the money. Okay. All right, babe. Bye. Nothing. 
Don't worry, it's a gradual process with time. The only time I feel a little sensation in my leg is when Sophia is massaging my legs. When she's doing it, there's this constant sensation running through my leg. Oh, really? Wow. That means she has been helping a little bit. Yes, she has. Okay. Don't worry, Mr. Mayor. I'm done for today's session. The next appointment will be in two weeks time. I will see you. Okay, thank you. Okay. What was that for? And what is what? You know what you just did? Well, I want to watch a program that I like. Whoever you say you are, could you please just give me the remote? I don't want any problems. Are you mad? Come. Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? Is it because you succeed in, de in deceiving all these people? You think you can do that to me? You are very crazy. See, the next time you will try me in this house, I will sniff the life out of you. Oh, you're me again. Shall I know what is going on here? Mom, I really don't understand this girl. 
Like I was just sitting here watching a program that I like and then the next day she took the remote and changed the channel. I was just trying to tell her that what she did is wrong and then the next day she's just raining insults on me. Can you just shut up your mouth there? Will you just shut up? You think I didn't see what you did from up there? What is wrong with you? Ever since you entered this house, tell me what you have done. Other than be on your phone, chatting and smiling at, like, like a mad person, watching television. Have you ever picked up the broom to sweep any part of this house? Have you? Even your own bedroom where you sleep, have you ever swept it? Have you ever? I'm watching you. Be careful. But at least I'm being honest. I can't be doing all of these things. They have people that they pay to do it. Me, I'm being honest. Or like some people here that they will just be pretending and they are just being temporary with all these things. Before you know, you will see their real color. I don't know why people don't appreciate real or honest people like me. Well, it's fine. That's why it's so sad when you tell the truth and be yourself. Look at this one. You're not even, you are not even normal. You My daughter, please. Mama, it's fine. It's okay. I do not have any picture or chat with Mike to prove that he's really my fiancé. Lie. As I was saying, immediately after the incident, my friend got me a new phone. And so I just retrieved my numbers a few days after. What are we supposed to do with this information of yours? To know who is lying, obviously. You know what? I think Mike should just dial our numbers. What? Mm -hmm. Die your number? I don't even know my own password. How about we call him then? See, I don't know what games you're trying to play here, but I am not interested. <laughs> you're not interested? You came in here with some edited picture of you and Mike, making me look like a fool. This is the only thing or the only way that can vindicate me as well. So if you are sure of who you claim to be, you will call him. You know what? I know you have something up your sleeves, okay? But I'm going to do it to prove how stupid you are. You go first. It could be any of us. All right, fine. I'll go first. <laughs> No, 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 this is not true. This can't be possible. He saved my number with a heart emoji on it. What's going on here? I do not know what you're up to, but I know that you have something up your sleeves, and I'm going to prove because. Don't believe her, she's lying! Excuse me? How can I temper with his phone when I don't even know his password? Why I call him? Derek, it's obvious who the liar is here. You brought up this idea. You said we should try to know who is saying the truth. So you call him. was done that that is not possible at all she's lying i need you guys to believe me i swear i wish i could just remember something you don't have to stress yourself over this okay if you are his fiance how come your contact is not saved on this phone. Honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because my number was saved on his phone with a heart emoji on it. This girl is lying. I need you both to believe me. I didn't want to do anything. Go in there. Pack your things and leave. Because the truth is out. 
Now. I am being serious. This girl is lying. All this lies are telling the truth. If you don't leave this house now, I will call the police on you. Get out. Liar! Get out. Never joke with a woman who is desperately in love. I told you I was going to get you, didn't I? <laughs> you probably thought I was joking. No, I wasn't. I meant every word that I said. You see, now you're going to be thrown out into the street where you belong. The fact that you took Mike away from me isn't my problem. My problem is that you came in my way of getting what I want. But guess what? What I will do to you, you won't forget in a hurry. Wow. You're really good at giving fake and empty threats. I give it to you. <laughs> I give it to you. By the time I unravel my true identity to you, you will beg for death before it comes to you. I'm so scared. Please, just go already, okay? You're not needed here. You couldn't even get a man of your own. You were such a failure. This failure made you a loser. You have everything except being a winner. So please just get out of the way. I promise you, you're going to regret this. You will beg for mercy, I promise you. Idiot. Serious, babe. In the dream, I asked you to take the same card and insert your own phone and change the name. Exactly. 
and it didn't turn out so well. See, I had the dream. That night I told you Derek asked me some few questions. Eh? Yeah. Is that serious? And now I'm so scared. I hope this will become the end of me in Meg's life. Baby, you know what I warn you? I warned you. Please now, stop. Stop judging me. Do you think I should back up now? Hmm. Well, this decision that you will decide you because I don't want more trouble. <sighs> Anything you decide, man, I'm here for you. That's it. I don't want to back out. I mean, his family love me. They, they treat me so well. And I love him. So no, I don't want to back out. I hope they know what you did, Dusha. But anyhow, like I said, I'm here for you. Please. I will. What? Man, this place is so beautiful. <laughs> you can see that again. Right. And the people living in it makes it even more beautiful. Oh! They are extremely nice. The mom, she treats me like I'm her last child. And Derek. <laughs> That one treats me like I'm his younger sister. Okay. Yo. So, where is Sophia? Mm, I don't know. I, I think she stepped out some few minutes ago. Okay. Uh, do you want to do this drink? Please say no. Come on! Go. Are you, are you damn me? Of course it's you, no, man. You like me. Oh, thank goodness. I guess. <laughs> Come on, girl. Don't be damn me. Uh, I'm not. But I'm fine. I'm like fine. Good. Ah. Mm. Mm. Let's go then. You win. Hey, brother. You know? Can I sleep here? Yeah, I I missed this game earlier, so I'm trying to. You missed the enjoyment? Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? We are watching a match. What stupid match? Take your hands off me. I will pretend this didn't happen. Because the next time it happens, it will be your last day in this house. Why are you leaving? I thought we were watching the match together. Start a fight, you can end a fight, you can push to ocean.
<laughs> Babes, I was so surprised at first. I know, this is your sweetest night. You can say that again, honey. <laughs> love again. You know how much I love this guy, you know. You know. I know, right? <laughs> no love of a guy like this for a long time. I'm glad you know. I mean, I love him with everything that I have. He makes me feel so, so happy. I just wish and hope that this lasts forever. It's going to last to a bed. It won't change last. You know, I will calabash. Ah, calabash. Ah. Ah. It's going to last. It will last. Okay, yeah. okay. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> Just to get a few things from the house and I'll be back before you know it. Okay. <laughs> so I'll do take care of yourself. I sure will. Away. I sure will. Okay. You should take care of yourself. What are you doing? Just stop it. I am trying to help you regain your memory here. Trust me, this is going to help. Okay? Can you just stop it and leave? What is it? What is your problem? Even if you lost your memory, did you also lose your love for me? Come on, I said I want you. Just stop it! Alright? Did you ever love me? Derek! excited about it. <laughs> hey. I wish I could regain my memory so that I could remember all the sweet things we shared, those beautiful moments. I really want to remember them. My love. You know we can create new memories. I mean, you don't have to hold on to the old memories. Right here and now, we can create new ones. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? What? I feel so tired. I don't want to go upstairs and lie down, but can you help me up? 
upstairs. Of course, why am I here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, another my return. Can you just push me from the back? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. Ah. Easy. <laughs> 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 It's okay, it's stable? Yeah, sure. It's okay. It's okay. Easy, one step at a time. Hello. Like, I don't understand this Derek guy. He's so difficult. I don't know if he's a real man or, 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 or what. I went to his room to seduce him. I tried all my female seductive moves and none of it got to him. I don't even understand. With Mike, it was very easy, but this Derek guy, I don't know what his problem is. Um, babe, babe, let me call you back, okay? Um, I think someone is coming. Okay, bye. It's not working. If it's about transportation, Derek is here to help you. You know, I'm so used to having you around. I know, Mama. Like I said, I will always come by to check up on you. What about Mike? <laughs> Mama, you are here. Huh? I trust your hands now. <laughs> okay, that is why I said I'll always stop by. You're leaving? Why? I've been here for almost three months and I'm beginning to feel a certain way. It's fine. I mean, I, I want you around. We all want you around. I have to. You don't have to do anything else. Just stay back a little while. Please, just a little while. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll stay for a little while. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Mom, is it just in the fridge? Yes. I want to juice. Um, okay, I'll, I'll get a glass for you. Okay. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, doctor. Oh, man. So good to see you. Yeah, I, I, I'm here to see you, man. I've been, I've been having these banging headaches. I don't know what's going on. My head is always just uh, paining me seriously. I don't know what's going on, doctor. How are we talking in my office? Oh, no, we're fine here. What's going on? Um, okay, the reason for the constant headache is because you've been pushing so hard to remember things from the past. What do I do? I, I need things to be normal. And in order for things to be normal, I have to remember what, what I'm forgetting. So he just needs to relax. Yeah, right? just get enough rest. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay. Come on, just relax. It's okay. All right. Let's go to the pharmacy. Let me give you some meds so you could use for the headache. Okay. Okay. That, that should work. Yes, okay. Thank right. you. Come on. Thank you, man. Look, Sophia isn't who I need. I'm serious. The rate at which she demands money is alarming and she doesn't use it for anything meaningful. She doesn't show anything. Remember I told you the last time I saw her at uh, one hotel with a guy? 
she couldn't explain anything to me. Look, I love her, but she's not the one I want right now. She's not the one that I need in my life right now. All right? Okay. That was how I knew she's been cheating on him and that he doesn't really want to be with her. Trust me. That day, there was this happiness that came to my mind because Loki, I knew he was going to break up with her to come be with me. I see. But you know you never mentioned this to me and I was thinking in the picture to ruin things. I don't ruin things. Moreover, Mike is a good man. He deserves someone better than Sophie. I mean, someone that will show him all the love and someone that will show him how love really feels like. Definitely not Sophie. <laughs> From what you said, I believe he deserves better. I'm, I'm over right. I'm, I'm going to get ready. I'm getting it out. We'll talk when I get back. All right? Okay. Good afternoon, Mom. Mm -hmm. Hi, good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, my daughter. Good afternoon. Um, whose birthday is it? Oh, wow. So you don't even know your fiance's birthday? Fake. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. How could I forget? <laughs> it skipped my mind. Uh, you know, a lot has been happening and... <sighs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> With everything that is happening, it is normal to forget something like this. But not forgetting something like this in a difficult time shows how much you have your partner in mind. Very true. Very true, Mom. Um, noted. Uh, I will just go get him and bring him over here. All right. Before then, he needs to make a wish. Come on, babes. Need to make a wish. Go on. Come away. So, uh, I. I only wish I can regain my memory. Oh, babe. You don't have to say that out loud. You just mute it to yourself, okay? Okay, it's fine. It's okay. Just let him cut the cake so the celebration can go on. Exactly the same thing that crossed my mind when I saw this. He will change. Never. Never. Anyway, that's his business. Not like I even care. But did he see you? No. I was far from him and I was inside the car. I was coming out from the mall with the girl. Mm. 
Oh, will I call her lady? <laughs> Good readings to bad rubbish. Okay, food never ready. I'm hungry. Auntie, I better calm down. Not be here with the way they cook the food. Relax now. You too like food, sir. Anything wanting food, food, food. That is why I am beautiful. Hmm? Ah, Clinton is deceiving you, Abby. In his eyes, I'm the most beautiful woman. Oh, she must be. Oh, yeah, now. Go on. It's because he's your man. Now. Before, uncle. Oh, yeah, now. If you don't praise me, go and do a big GM. Why can't you start doing like now this? Abby, <laughs> do a bit. I know you are fine. I'm just joking. Now. You are fine, yeah. but you too like food. I don't like it. I'm very hungry, darling. It's almost ready. Vivi! What are you doing? Don't touch me. What is it? Are you not attracted to me? I am not. You're not attracted to me. That's why I'm not attracted to you. Now get out. Leave my room. Can you stop? Just go on. Leave my room now. Come on. Now leave my room! Wait, wait. Leave, leave. Wait, wait, wait. Why the noise? What is going on here? Now this lot here came to seduce me. This is not her first time, neither is it the, the second. What? Really? Uh, you are seducing Michael's brother. It's not what you think. Aha! I knew it. I knew you would never be a good wife to my son. Fine. <laughs> I want you to pack your things and get out of oh, this house. No, please. This please. very minute. My is the devil. Return to wherever it is you came from. I'm sorry. And I don't want to see you anywhere within this premises, even in the next five minutes. Please. If you don't want to see my color, get out of this place. Please, no, wait, 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 Come. please, wait. Come. I will have a pack of things. Take away from here. Wait. Babes, sorry. That was what happened though. Hmm? Seducing our boyfriend's younger brother. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And guess what? Ever since she came, she has not helped with anything that has to do with Mike. Not even cooking, not cleaning, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And sometimes I begin to wonder, like, how did Mike end up with such a girl anyway? I never even knew she was interested in dairy. But babe, how did it happen? Okay, let me give you the full gist. Mom and myself went to the market, yeah? So, and Mike was in the hospital with his physiotherapist. At the time, Derek was not in the house. We even asked auntie to follow us to the market. Guess what she said? I don't like stress. Not knowing she was busy waiting for Derek's arrival. You can imagine. Or more. This girl no get shame, oh. See, very stupid woman. Single be. shame, she no. She no get. See, please hold on. I think someone is coming. Okay, I'll call you back. We'll talk later. All right. Okay. Doctor, this one. How is my son doing? He's fine. He passed out due to the shock from the oncoming vehicle. But he just needs to rest. Huh? Although he had some bruises on his knee, but we've taken care of that. He's in good shape. He's in good shape. Thank God. It wasn't a minor accident. I, I had a major accident. I was with Camilla. We were on our way to see Mr. George. We had a meeting with him. Camilla. 
Who is Camilla? My personal assistant, Camilla. Oh, no. We need to call a doctor. What? I'm, I'm, I'm also as confused as you are here. Um, I was in a car with uh, Camilla. Where is Camilla? Sophia, you mean? Not, not Sophia. No. Uh, not. Derek, go get the doctor. What is going on? It's going down. Oh, what is going on? I was in the car with Camilla. Where is Camilla? Just calm down. I don't. Please, I want you to check my son. I don't know what is wrong with him. He's, he's, his talk is not making sense. No, I need to calm down. Calm down. I, I do this. Uh, Camilla, what are you doing here? I thought, I thought you should be taking care of. Why are you dressed like this? Come back here. I'm sorry. Come back here. Where are you going to? Stop her. Stop her. What is going on? I think he's beginning to regain his memory. Although some part of his brain aren't functioning yet, but he's making progress. He's making progress. I'm grateful to God for this alone. Lord, thank you! Thank you, Jesus! Um, he'll be discharged any moment from now. Just make sure he takes his medication as prescribed. Definitely, Doctor. Oh, I don't know what is going on. Alright, so the nurses will take care of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mike. Mike, you're fine. My son is fine. Thank you. I'm sorry for fooling you all. Okay, I did everything I did because I have always loved him. I do hope you all find a place in your heart to forgive me. Love who? What is she talking about? What is what is going on? Apart from the fact that she she's confessing that she loves me, what else has been going on? What has she done? You mean you don't know what has been happening since for five months? Listen. No, I don't. The doctor said. It is normal. It seems he can't remember all that happened after the accident till this very moment. So let me break it down to you. You see, after you woke up with amnesia, I know what Camilla did was awful, but trust me, she loves you. You see, 
the best thing that would happen to any man is to have in his life a woman who genuinely loves him. I never loved her, ma'am. I never loved her. I never even thought about it. Let me tell you the truth. If you lose Camilla, you might never find another woman like her. <laughs> yes, she wronged us by lying to us, which hurts badly. But she is a good woman. She's a good woman. What if everything she did, what if everything she did in herself was just an act? An act to impress you? What if? No. I don't think so. What do you want me to do? Go for her. Yes, you might not love her now, but with time, you can build that on. Mom, you know what? Just stop it, okay? Just stop it. I'm still upset about, about what she did. And then I'm heartbroken. I'm so heartbroken about what, the way Sophia treated me. <sighs> listen, listen, oh my God. Listen. listen. Everything that happened, happened for a reason. At least now we know who the better person is. Don't we? <laughs> Mom, you know what? I'm tired. <coughs> Let me get some rest, okay? Okay. Let me get some rest. I love you. We'll talk tomorrow. All right, son. I love you too. Good night. Good night, Mom. But please... Think about all I've told you. I'm not, Mom. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Babe, it's already a month. You need to pick up your pieces and move on. Move on. What do I tell my child? What do I say happened between me and its father? Like, how? What are you talking about? Like, I'm confused. It happened that night. I thought you said. You guys only got it. Babe, we didn't just cuddle. It happened. Babe. I I just discovered last week that I have been three months gone. How do I bring a child into this world whose father is not even aware of? Okay, have you tried contacting him? No, I can't. I can't. I mean... Me calling him with me, I'm imposing this child on him. So he can be with me and I don't want that. You warned me, I didn't listen. Fighting for your love is not a big deal. You might have taken the wrong route, but your intention will help you. So, shouldn't beat yourself about this. <laughs> oh, come on, babe. Stop, stop. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't like seeing this movie like this. That's why I explain this. Oh, God. <laughs> babe, stop.
remember. I remember everything. Oh my God, Camilla. Oh God. What was I even thinking? Oh. Banging my door. Hey. Can I come in, please? Who are you? Look, I just I just need a moment of your time, please. Uh, I, can I can I please come in? What did you say you are? Camilla. I'm sorry. Not since you left. A part of me has been so empty. My room. My home. Everything feels cold without you. I shouldn't have sent you out like that. I shouldn't have said the things I said to you and I... I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Hold on, hold on, please. I don't, I don't understand. What's, what's going on? Who are you? And how did you even find me here? I don't know what's going on too because I'm surprised you don't remember me. Like, how could you not remember me? But Camilla, even if you have amnesia like I did and you don't remember me, I'll wait. You waited for me for months. I'm, I'm ready to wait for years if that's what it takes. <laughs> wait, are you using my lines? Oh. <laughs> so you remember me? Hmm? Yes, I do. <laughs> really? Yes, I do remember. Of course, <laughs> I was only pretending. Hmm. Okay, I was just pretending. And are you sure you want to wait? I'll wait forever. If that's what it takes. <laughs> How can I even forget the face of the man I love? So you love me? I have always loved you. Hmm. So you do. Hmm? I miss you. I swear he's been crazy without you. You won't believe it. I miss you too. I miss you so much. <laughs> okay, say less. No, I'm serious. Come here. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> It's so good to have you back. Camilla. The best way to spend the rest of my life is with you by my side. Going to bed with you every night. Waking up to you by my side every morning is the most beautiful thing. It's special, it's magical. It's everything to me. Please, Camilla. Make me the happiest man in the world by agreeing to be my wife. Marry me, Camilla. For me, still you for myself. 
to you sleeping and waking up beside me every day. To me, making you the happiest man on earth by being your wife. I say yes. Yes. Oh my <laughs> Come here, my darling. Sophia. I came to apologize to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that that I did. I'm sorry for all the pain that I caused you. I'm really sorry. You see, I'm ready now. I'm ready to be a wife. I'm ready to do the chores. I'm ready to do everything that you want me to do. I just want you to take me back, please. Please take me back. There's nothing for me out there. Domniani, he, he scammed me. He, 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 he disappeared with another woman. I'm really sorry. I'm a changed person now. I promise you, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything bad anymore. I'm going to just be a good person to you. Please. Sophia. Yes. I forgive you. <sighs> Thank you. But I can't have you back in my life. But why? We cannot be together, Sophia. Why is it because of her? Please, you know I love you. Please. Sophia, please. If you want money, as usual, I will send you money. I don't want money. It's you that I want. Sophia, I'm with my woman. Can you just... Stop embarrassing yourself. Just get up. Leave my house. Please. Please. Just leave. I have your account details. Keep law or break the law You can fail the whole world For the one you love You can start a fight You can end a fight You can push the ocean For the one you love I did it all for love It is my heart you I want to stay with you Today and tomorrow No matter the circumstance Even if morning or day I want to be with you forever I'm a criminal for love I want to steal your heart Cause you mean everything to me I can't let go I can't get my eyes off of you I can't get my mind of you I don't know what you did to me That I'm helplessly love I did it all for love It is my heart you have I want to stay Day and tomorrow, no matter the same 